and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some keg control. Gonna be our next deck here on Rank Up Sunday. We haven't had the best record so far today. We've had a lot of good games and I feel pretty confident about this one because we're heading on over to Bilgewater, probably the best region and probably the best champion in the game, in my opinion, with Twisted Fate. This deck is um, going to be trying to take full advantage of Powder Kegs. That's why we're called the Keg Control. We have Dreadway Deckhand, um, Petty Officer, and a Gangplank that all, can all make Powder Kegs for us. And the reason why that's going to be really powerful is that we have Twisted Fate uh, with the red card, with the Twisted Fate red card being able to uh, do lots of damage whenever you have a Powder Keg to all enemies and then pairing it with shadow isles for withering will which is just the same thing basically as twisted fate red card so we're trying to have that combination we can also use make it rain with the powder kegs to have triple mystic shot which is pretty awesome we have unspeakable horror being able to drain two we have parlay that can do two damage we have all that kind of stuff um but yeah we're, we're definitely going to be trying to take advantage of gangplank and, and have like the um, and Gangplank's ability that whenever Gangplank's leveled up, that we're getting uh, Powder Kegs every single round. So we got to be able to level up Gangplank. So to do that, we got Monkey Idol in here. Monkey Idol is just a really good blocker and then also can do damage to the enemy Nexus turn after turn to level up our Gangplank. And then at the top end, we got a couple of Riptide Rex. Um, last time we played this deck, we tried Rasa. <laughs> I wanted to try out Rasa, but Riptide Rex basically would have been better than Rasa every single time we had Rasa. So we're going to go back to Riptide Rex. Um, we're, we're able to turn on plunder again, uh, fairly easily, hopefully with the monkey idols helping us out. And then I'm also going to try one Ledros at the top end. You know, we have the Dreadway that doubles all the, our damage, which is just awesome. And we'll try one Ledros. So if we are super lucky, we do have the one turn kill combo in here. One copy each of Dreadway and Ledros, because if you have a Dreadway in play, you double all your damage, even by your skills and the Ledros skill, that symbol means it's a skill. Um, would deal uh, damage equal to half of their nexus, but you double it, so they die. All right, but let's just play some K control. We're our deck's gonna be pretty good against aggro because of our ability to have a lot of sweepers. Withering Whale, Twisted Fate, Red Card. Our deck's good against the the new discard aggro that a lot of people are playing. So that's what we want to. That's what we want to see. Our deck's real good against aggro. Yeah, Ledro yeah, you could play third Rex over Ledros for sure. Ledros could maybe help finish games out in like this kind of matchup a little better. Um, but yeah, that's a good call. It could certainly be third Rex. We're gonna keep Monkey Idol. I don't know if I keep Higher Gun. I mean I guess it's Higher Gun's just gonna be a two three. Not really doing anything else. So yeah, that's something to keep in mind. Would we rather have Riptide Rex instead of Ledros? We'll play the Dreadway deckhand. Maybe we get to higher gun like an 04 and give it vulnerable. Mayhaps. So they both attack for two. Might as well play the, um, the weaker card there. So they just played, we just played two mana 2-2, two, two, and then they played two mana 1-1 one, one plus heal your nexus for one. Could lead with Twisted Fate red card. Meh. I think I'd rather go blue card. Yeah, let's just go blue card. Alright, two out of five for gangplank so far. Soak it in. Plus the other good part about blue card here is it gives gives us a second spell mana. Next turn's turn five. So it could be trundle turn where we could just vengeance trundle right away. That was a great avalanche. Thankfully, our Twisted Fate drew another Twisted Fate. So 
such a fast pass. That That's like a pass over to you, I want you to play something, then I play my trundle. But I think I fall for the bait. I don't think I also pass. So I guess I'm playing Gangplank. They will be able, they'll just challenge my Powder Keg right away. Wow. They didn't even challenge my Powder Keg. That's surprising. Hang them by their entrails. Because of Ruination, I don't want to play anything else before combat. So I'm going to go red card basically because that will be a, a fourth thing for the Gangplank. I know I could go Gangplank's partlay, but I feel like Gangplank's pretty powerful and we may need another Gangplank, so I'm not going to do that. And I'm probably just going to Vengeance this thing. Really block. Funny the hand lock deals you, don't you think? Tis a sharp tongue you've got there, River Snake. King of Trolls coming through. Who's on top of the bounty board today? I wish I could have like my powder keg challenge. <laughs> That'd be cool. Lady Luck is smiling. I'll show him pain. So I do less damage to them this way, but my Gangplank's at 4 to 5, it's going to turn into a 6-6 six, six whenever either Twisted Fate or Hired Gun hits them, and then the 6-6 six, six will hopefully take down the 4-6. Hopefully. Okay, we'll just trade Vengeances. So they've cast two Vengeance. One on each Gangplank. It's good. Ooh. One mana short from Ledros plus Glimpse Beyond. I was about to say, that's a good draw. So if this was Riptide Rex, I mean, we could add Riptide Rex last turn, but we couldn't have Riptide Rex this turn. So they're at 12, they took 7, they took an, an additional point because of the Powder Keg. <laughs> Sorry, that's how I just always hear that card. It's always like, Trindamir sounds like to me in my head. I say that each time, but that voice line just cracks me up, just his, his voice. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm just attacking. I don't see anything better to do. Try me. Let's talk about your dad. I've got meat bigger than you. Oh yeah, we did trade a, a gangplank for a seven six. Then what was their other vengeance? They played two vengeance, didn't they? Ouch, that was harsh. So I'm gonna sacrifice the Ledros, draw two. That one life they just gained on the Nexus doesn't matter because they still take, they still go down to two either way with the Ledros. Right? Like if they're at four, or that if they're at five. Like they probably should have waited till after the Ledros to do that. Yeah, they, now we just do three. That was probably not the best. I love it. Second unspeakable horror. It's always cold in the Brel Yord. You're in my kingdom now. Alright, so there's you know like a 50-50 chance or something the Mega Rain hits. I'm just gonna lead with this, because there's a hundred percent chance that that hits. Their Nexus, I don't get the nightfall thing.
Ooh, that's not good. That is not good. Can they kill me? Not if I'm playing Withering Whale, I guess. Yeah, I guess I'm, guess I'm going to just Vengeance this Trundle. Probably going to be my play is Vengeance the Trundle. I had no business losing that game. I feel like I had no business losing that game. So, down. Hmm. We're we playing against. Okay, just Shivana, Fiora, Demacia. Do I want Withering Will versus Demacia? Usually, Demacia is too big for Withering Will. The last spell was Atrocity that they played to sacrifice their card. I mean, one, I should have just Vengeance before they attacked so the Trundle didn't get the plus three, plus zero. I could have just done that as well. That's kind of how today's been going. <laughs> I've been... We've been in close games. Games that I do not expect to lose, and we lose. Talk about sometimes. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. I've whipped up something special. I guess it's just better to play this one if we're just gonna go powder keg. Prepare for battle. So we could go. So I would go gold card to protect against Ranger's Resolve with that Fiora. Uh, but then, of course, they can just have like a barrier card. I'm just gonna wait with the Twisted Fate because that that Twisted Fate gold card can be really valuable against uh, large units. I like that higher gun. All right, so playing Gangplank right now, so the next one I can go Hired Gun and Twisted Fate. I fight for the fallen. Together. I'm probably going to have to just Vengeance the Radiant Guardian. I want to play Hired Gun, but Hired Gun would hit the Radiant Guardian, but I want to be Vengeancing the Radiant Guardian. So I'm in a predicament. You dare slack on my ship? Or you'll swim! Round them up! Alright, we'll pass turn. I am watching you, dragon. Twisted Fate gold card would stop the Screeching Dragon. I do four damage to the Screeching Dragon. And so now our um, unspeakable horror will be able to finish off the, the screeching dragon. All that glitters. Oh, I guess it did radiant guardian. Hmm. I guess I, I don't know. I guess I just thought it would be hitting the dragon, but I guess I guess not. I guess not. Well, I, I regret everything. So we gotta keep playing, like, so we gotta try to play around, like, Concerted Strike. Definitely looks like that's what they got, or Single Combat. Uh. And 
and just gets Shivana closer to leveling up. I, I completely regret all of this now. Who's on top of the bounty board today? All right, so we make that thing vulnerable, and... Drain it. Challenge it with a Petty Officer. Vengeance, Shivana. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Virtue guides me. I'm really glad not another fight spell. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. Dreadway is a pretty good draw. I, all my stuff here is doing double the damage. But that's pretty awesome also. Now they get the, the strafing strike. So not looking great. Me. Just messed up my Twisted Fate really bad and like those powder kegs just completely wasted them on that on free damage on this Radiant Guardian. You've concerns, do you? Banish the unworthy! I'm gonna get you. So kind of expecting... Uh, uh, maybe expecting those to fight? Croyan won't do any good. Do I look like a patient man? Let's try this. Yeah, there's some awesome cards. Shivana, uh, you know, Shivana, Radiant Guardian, and Screeching Dragon, all awesome cards. Having two of each of those. They did have a they did really have a good hand, did they? Because they had they had one drop, two drop, three drop, four. Yeah, so they went, yeah, because they went one drop, two drop, and then Fiora, then Shivana. And then Radiant Guardian. Yeah, that's a good one through five. And then turn six, Screeching Dragon. Turn seven, like another Radiant Guardian. I don't know. Or, well, I guess they, they had some, oh yeah, then they had like some fight spells in there. Turn seven and turn eight, that was a good turn nine. Okay, so we did some trading. We don't get to Riptide Rex this turn. This could be a great Withering Whale. This is going to be doing four damage to all enemies, because it usually does one, but the Powder Keg makes it two, and then we double it up with the Dreadway. So that's just... <laughs> that shows the power of what we have going on there. Um... Yeah, we'll make the attack. Ooh, we'll take the 10. We'll just take the 10. Everyone pays. Now, every single cannon barrage will be doubled. The Dreadway is... Like, they they had to kill the Dreadway with the Strafing Strike. Uh, that's where they, they really messed up was that turn 9. Like, they did not kill the Dreadway, and they had to. Cold stuff coming for those who wronged me. <laughs> if you thought Riptide Rex was bad before, how about Riptide Rex with a Dreadway in play? <laughs> just 4 damage each one, each cannon barrage. Just do 28 damage to stuff. All right, so we did make a, a quick change here between games. We decided to take out the Ledros and put in a second Dreadway. That card's super cool. Alright, Lee Sin Zed. So Vengeance is going to be good against Lee Sin Zed. 
Um, we're going to mulligan the Gangplank, and I'm going to keep these other cards. So I'm thinking Sprayfin can find us, like, Make It Rain or um, Unspeakable Horror. Sure, there's an Unspeakable Horror. Something where I can... Because Vengeance is going to kill Lee Sin, but they have Bastion. And so I need something to be able to break up a Spell Shield. So we got this combination. So we'll take that. It is time. Guess we just lead with Petty Officer. Because by the time we're actually casting this Vengeance, we're probably going to have another thing. So they could use the Capel Cascade, their best case scenario. Nopify? Okay. I guess that's a card. Without a sound. Deal me in. Oh, I'm hoping they're sitting at looking at another Nopify in hand. No, they had the pill cascade this time. I should have just gone I should have just gone gold card. That was really dumb going red card. I should have just gone gold card, because I'd want to stun this thing anyway. Yeah, that was dumb. That was really dumb. Should have been gold card. Because we weren't we weren't killing the Eye of the Dragon. Yeah, Bilgewater does have a really good soundtrack. Keep up, keep up. We each hold the world within. All or nothing. So they know I have a spell that costs three or less because of Zap Sprayfin. See what they do. I'm just gonna use the plus two plus zero here. I am at nine. This is five. They could, if they have a pale cascade, as I say, they could throw them on over and try to kill me. I'm just kind of having them use more mana than me. Yeah, exactly, right? You can hum along to this board. Yeah, I, I like this board music. Those special boards they've been playing, that they've been making, I really have not liked those. Board music with those. Gotta be barrier, right? <laughs> like, what? What is this? Barrier lifesteal? Cut the breath from them. Yeah, it's true. The, the the music here is just a, is a tad repetitive. I'll give you that. It feels like it's like a you know, like a two or three minute track and it could be like a, or you know, maybe it's even like a five minute track at the most, but it could be like a 10 minute track. Into darkness. 
Just have more Zeds. I am the blade in the darkness. That's why they were never really using the gem on that Zed. I got three blockers right now. Don't know if they played. Yeah, they because they played Hush. All right, so they. Okay, so they played three Hush. Three. Okay, so the one two didn't resolve. So they've only played one spell. So they're not going to get a Dragling. That's why I was kind of trying to do the math of like, are they getting a Dragling or not? That's what I was trying to figure out whether I needed that Stygian onlooker, but. Yeah, I like the landmarks. I think they are a. I think they're pretty fun. I'm enjoying them. be able to challenge that thing and we might as well play the onlooker right now like if i'm going dreadway next turn we have one extra mana for the parlay we still have that extra mana for the parlay what is gained when we return malevolence riptide rex is also an option it's also an option so now the problem here is like i could parlay the draggling but then if they use something to protect their draggling and i don't do damage to them then i don't get to riptide rex so i think i just parlay their nexus and then cast Riptide Rex. You think I just attack first and see how they block? The thing I don't like about attacking first is it could leave me with like not many blockers if they just have another Zed. I don't, that's that's what I'm worried, I want my blockers. Definitely possible I should just be playing Dreadway first anyway, just play Dreadway. Next turn have the whole Riptide Rex thing. That we double everything up. Alright, so that's the third Zenith Blade. I was hoping that they weren't going to get another Zenith Blade. Uh, and we don't kill Zed. So bad news, we don't kill Zed. The good news is they're, they are at four. And Riptide Rex is blowing out speakers. So they're at four, and I have like all these attackers. Like Zed's probably got a block. Yeah, they need like life steal barrier, and another. They need need to be able to play another blocker for the seven four and have life steal barrier. They needed those two cards, but they did not. Yeah, just more hush. GG's. All right, playing Swain Darius. Vengeance is going to be good against Swain and Darius. Let's just hold on to a Vengeance and I. I wouldn't really mind keeping a second Twisted Fate because of just how good this card is. But there we go. We do want to play something before turn four so we don't just waste our, our three mana. Cool. That card costs three mana. I'll take it. And we can use spell mana for that. I'll take that one too. Cool, Michael. Yeah, working on like a, a Tom Kench deck for a donation deck. Cool, cool. That egg. Did it move? Could unspeakable horror this. The best part about that is, is it would only cost one mana right now because then if we go like twisted a blue card. We have the extra mana, but I'm just going to wait. See nothing left when I'm done. Yeah, they're not doing too much over there. Them good. All 
All right, fair enough. Wasn't really expecting the box for a, a control deck. Yeah. Looking pretty control. It's going to be a lot of damage to level up Swain. Six damage there. Yes, Eclipse Dragon. That's such a good one to hit, because then we're just going to Nightfall this, get another Dragon and Celestial Follower. Oh, that card's good. Yeah, Tom Kench does have the best voice, voice lines. They're so good. So that Thresh is leveling up. I'm going to need to Vengeance that thing. And I guess I just do that this turn because in future turns we'll have our other mana for other stuff. <laughs> attack here. I don't really want them to play like Noxion Fervor or Glimpse Beyond. There's a good chance they have those kind of cards. Cool. I'm not really planning on a playing... Oh no, another Thresh. Not really planning on playing the pick a card. Eva. Yep. So we're going Monkey Idol so the Powder Monkey can do damage to them, and then we get to Riptide Rex next turn. Sounds like a plan. Um, am I going Twisted Fate Blue card? Let's go red. This is better for Riptide Rex. You know, it does get closer to them leveling up Thresh. That'll be three. Monkey will be four. Thresh Swain. Right. We're not playing Darius. We're playing against Swain. For some reason, I was thinking I always thought Darius because that's what I just said at the very beginning. But then, okay. So we got to worry about. Le so they're going to be playing Leviathans. bad for me. Cool, I'll just take the next turn. Didn't have a great thing to play anyway, so they had like a Leviathan. Don't have to worry about it. So am I going to go Dreadway or Higher Gun plus Eclipse Dragon? So I go Dreadway, they Vengeance Dreadway, then they challenge... Level that thing up. Their decks with blood. So now they can challenge and Thresh levels up and then does not die to parlay anymore. I can cast parlay just on the Thresh. So therefore, if they challenge, their Thresh dies. Man, they still have the mana to play a Swain? This is bad for me. Uh, this is bad for me. parlay in hand, so maybe I could have just gone parlay and then Rex. Instead of playing Dreadway first. Should have just done that.
But we need Rasa. Yeah, that was a great turn for them. Return to us. Hmm. Wanted to kill at least two of those things. So use like higher gun. Get vulnerable. And I have to challenge with the Riptide Rex, even though I would much rather challenge with the higher gun. GG's, they outplayed me this game. Yeah, I just threw that game away on turn 9 by just playing the Dreadway. They set it up really well. They had a good hand. So why are we going... I We're going Ionia, not Noxus. This is different. So this is going to be game number five when we played against zero aggro, unfortunately. That's what our deck is... Our deck is so good against aggro. Um, unfortunately, yeah, we just played against zero aggro. Our Mountain Diana deck got to run into the... Um, it got to run into the discard aggro three times, but unfortunately not here. The trap is set. I'm gonna have a, a powder monkey kill the Avaros in Century. That's my plan. I'm playing with that. I need more runs. Oh no. Plunder Poro. I'm not sure if it's worth just trading this thing away for a for that. I kind of feel like it, because I need to clear up space. Over there. Yeah, it's okay. You know, planting, like, Powder Keg, because we need to clear up space. And, like, Powder Keg with Withering Whale or Red Card. Would be able to kill that now. Definitely see them playing Culling Strike. That's an that's an option. No, cool. We'll take that. Wonder what the Ionia is all about. Leave your bags in the door. Yeah, I wonder what the iron is all about. Alright, I said calling strike, but they're playing Ionia. <laughs> I can't have calling strike. And what, deny? Sure. So our Twisted Fate just traded <clears throat> four for four mana wise. And got you know, we just got rid of a four mana card, basically, and we still get Twisted Fate to play. I'll take that. Yeah, they don't even get to attack anyway. Oh, I love that card. That card is awesome. <clears throat> I want to be drawing something that draws cards for us. Get us closer to leveling up Twisted Fate. I guess we play Vengeance. I guess we wait till they challenge also.
kill the Rhyming Wolf, so it's not killing all my stuff all the time. Okay, so two denies down. So should be able to play the Dreadway and then play Parlay. We'll have to see if they have another deny or anything like that. What do you have? Ah. Another Tavern Keeper. So parlay on the Rhyming Wolf. The ocean I love the Withering Will draw. And the parlay drawing a Gangplank that does work with the Twisted Fate. As far as drawing is concerned. I don't know. They're just willing to just pass. Swiftly now. Oh, they don't have another deny. But if they do, we'll be vengeancing the Rhyming Wolf. Because gotta keep the Dreadway alive. Okay, good. Alright, I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Feeling pretty good about this one. So now, we didn't do any damage, Nexus damage to them, so our Rhyming Wolf. Or sorry, so our Riptide Rex not turned on quite yet. I'll make corpses of them all. Are they gonna have like Winter's Breath in here? You know, next turn, planning on. Oh, I didn't play. I didn't play the, the Gangplank they knew about. They know about this Gangplank. I should have played that one. Or, wait, do they know about this? I don't know. Make it rain does four damage three times. Not when this powder keg's gone. Alright, so that's damage on their nexus for Riptide Rex. So each cannon barrage. A chill in the air. Okay. So basically, I just I want to clear out some other things that would eat cannon barrages, and see if they play like another level two champion. I think they have like another three level two, level two champions. I think. Well, that's gonna kill everything. Also, do six damage to them. That is just ridiculous. Little Teemo. Little Teemo's trying. Teemo's trying. Uh, oh, Dreadway. GG's. I won't stop coming for those who wrong me. No, the boat does not buff repost. It only buffs things that deal damage. So that does Oh. Sorry, does the boat buff Riptide? Okay. Yes, yeah, the boat does the boat does double up Riptide. So yes, the cannon barrages. Cannon barrage normally does two to an enemy if it's gone deal one. With the boat in play, deal four to the enemy and deal two instead. Alright, so there we go. There's keg control. Um it's a, this is a good deck. Do we get another okay, good. We got a three two this time. Um yeah, this is a this is definitely a good deck. And we didn't face our best matchup. <clears throat> any kind of the Noxus aggro decks, you know, b between discard aggro, pirate burn, those those decks are very popular, and we face those zero time, and that's really what what we're good against. You know, like Withering Whale um, with with Powder Keg usually ends those things pretty quickly. Same with Twisted Fate Powder Keg, but very good deck here with Keg Control, 
And yeah, I like having the two dreadways. We switched that up, took out the the ledros. I think that's probably the spot to be. Dreadway's pretty cool. All right, but those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments. Always love seeing those. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.